Laptop chip level fault and troubleshooting. If your laptop has started up normally but then has problem once it has started such as the screening freezing or it is running very slowly then it implies that fault has occurred in your laptop. Laptop is a composed form of personal computer where all main components are attached on single chip. As the technology is growing day by day its problem and solution are developing at same pace to solve and innovate new technical advantages in its field. Now let us study chip level faults and its troubleshooting procedure in laptop. Our objective is to empower you with learning experience required to repair and maintain a laptop. This course provides you comprehensive instruction and procedure to troubleshoot problem related to chip level. Let us have a close look on the topics that we are going to study in this section. You will learn about problems and its solution related to DC conversion, main power supply short problem, battery related problems, laptop dim screen display related problem including internal and external, network port and isolating problem, touchpad problem, laptop drives if not detecting problem, SMD component and its solution or pin detail. Let us start with understanding how laptop power work can be very useful in determining what the problem is. I will first explain how it works then I will explain how we can troubleshoot. The working of AC adapter involves a sm small box with one wire to go to the laptop and other wire to go to the wall. There is a LED indication when its power is on and start its functioning. It lowered down the voltage from 120 volts AC to 19 volts DC and includes an automatic circuit breaker to protect from external power noise. With the help of multimeter you can measure voltage, current and resistance. Sometimes you might observe that LED is off when you plug in adapter. This shows that whether there is overload or plug is loose on either side. Now you will see using multimeter how to check voltage. The task is easy. Measure the vo voltage between the inside and outside. For those with the 3 pin Dell power connector, if they try measuring each of the 3 possible pairs of pin, they should get 20 volts between one of the pairs. Power distribution inside a laptop come into the plug on the back of the computer. These will be connected to voltage regulator and the CPU voltage. These will be connected to cylindrical capacitor distributed throughout the main board of laptop. Then power goes to all the devices. Power for the LCD display is usually done separately. Inverter is a discrete replicable component or chip on motherboard. The battery supply power to the input side of the voltage regulator. There is a charging circuit used for charging a battery. A short circuit is caused due to the internal or external electrical intrusion and make laptop not working. Now these laptop short circuit problem are resolved. For this you first need to check where this problem has occurred with the help of multimeter. When measuring between then power pins going into the back of the computer consider the two pins where the user expect voltage to be applied by the AC adapter. If the resistance indicates a short circuit, this is a problem. What happens when liquid spills over your laptop? It leads to short circuit and can develop in many parts of laptop. So there is a chance of damage correspond to that part. Now let us adopt some curing method when such situation happen with your laptop. For this, turn off the laptop and turn the laptop upside down so the liquid goes out the same way it came in then. Remove the power and battery and allow to dry. What problem needs to turn off laptop itself? Some enlisted issues are power overload in the AC adapter, overheated processor, overheated ba battery, pushing the power button, cooling, loose wire, especially the power cord, or intermittent short circuits. Now moving to the next topic, which will make you learn what are reason of battery not getting charged. The main reason can be power problem when we move the AC adapter connector inside the jack may be one of them. Now there are some steps you must follow to resolve the battery related problem. Firstly, when laptop battery is removed, 
it turns on and run properly from AC adapter. But as soon as you start moving the connector inside jack, the laptop shuts off and it loses power immediately as the battery is removed. Now test the adapter with the help of multimeter. If there is nothing wrong with the adapter connector, then there might be a problem with power socket inside your laptop. Remove the top cover assembly with the display to access the jack. DC jack was attracted to a cable and easily disconnected it from the motherboard to test it. Using the multimeter, you will be observed voltage was 15.45 VDC if adapter cord was not moved. But as soon as we started twisting or moving it, voltage dropped to 0 VDC. If that is the case, DC jack harness is faulty and has to be changed with the new one to fix the problem. If battery stop charging because of the moving adapter, plug then If battery stop charging because of moving the adapter, plug then test the AC adapter first. If it passes the test, replace the jack. In the next section, you will learn about laptop dim display problem, isolating problem between screen, inverter board and the main MB. You might have observed such display related problem. Let us begin with the understanding these problem and its troubleshooting. The general problem you might have noticed that screen shows odd and unbalanced color with sharp or dull lighting. Now what are measures to resolve this problem? Testing screen inverter and troubleshooting backlight failure are other aspects of this lecture. Let us start with repairing procedure when screen shows odd and strange colors.